so EA has revealed that it will shut down Visceral Games, the studio responsible for the Dead Space series, among many other titles. Additionally, the single-player Star Wars game it had been working on will be overhauled and moved to a different EA studio, leaving a major name's future uncertain for the company. Our Visceral Studio has been developing an action-adventure title set in the Star Wars universe, says Patrick Storlin, executive VP of EA Worldwide Studios. In its current form, it was shaping up to be a story-based linear action-adventure game. Throughout the development process, we have been testing the game concept with players, listening to feedback about what and how they want to play, and closely tracking fundamental shifts in the marketplace. It has become clear that to deliver an experience that players will want to come back to and enjoy for a long time to come, we needed to pivot the design. The Untitled Project will now be developed by EA Vancouver, which had already been working on the game, Sauterland says. It will maintain the stunning visuals, authenticity in the Star Wars universe, and the focus on bringing a Star Wars story to life. Importantly, we are shifting the game to be a broader experience that allows for more variety and player agency, leaning into the capabilities of our Frostbite engine and reimagining central elements of the game to give players a Star Wars adventure of greater depth. However, as an unfortunate side effect of this change, Sauterland said EA will be ramping down and closing Visceral. It doesn't sound as if its entire staff will be laid off, as EA is in the midst of shifting as many of the team as possible to other projects and teams at EA, but this still marks the end for Visceral as we know it. Visceral has been around for the better part of two decades, starting out life as EA's Redwood Shore Studio. Its name was changed to Visceral in 2009 following the release of the first Dead Space in 2008. Its catalog of games is extensive, covering anything from Tiger Woods golfing games to Army of Two The Devil's Cartel. It also developed a number of licensed games, including those based on Lord of the Rings, The Godfather, and James Bond. With the Dead Space series seemingly put on ice, Visceral has spent its recent years working on Battlefield DLC and the spin-off Battlefield Hardline. Seems like this stuff keeps happening more and more often. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We do appreciate all the support. Later.